hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this react native video we will see that what is the life cycle method in the react native and how we can implement them these are the points that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will see that what is the life cycle method actually then why this is important some important life cycle methods name and uh, after that we will implement some examples with the, some important life cycle methods so now the first question is what is the life cycle method so when in the react native when we just make a component a component have the different stages like uh, it before creating after creating after updating and after removing all right these are the similar like a uh, human life so when we just uh, a human like uh, take a birth then it will just update ourselves and uh, at the last it will death the similar thing is the life cycle methods of the component all right now why they are important so sometimes we have to use them like an event so after just uh, uh, initialize the event we just want to implement and uh, some important data or we just want to execute some functions like when just uh, our component is executed then we just want to check that the user is logged in or not sometimes we have to call the uh, api and all right so this these are the things that what is the life cycle method and why they are important so now let's jump with the some important life cycle method so there are many life cycle methods but three or four are very important so like component did mount component did update should component mount uh, component will receive props component snapshot and component will unmount and many more but the importance are only three so one is component uh, did update component did mount and component did unmount and we will just uh, see them in an example also so first of all uh, life cycle methods can be only used in the class component if we just want to use in the functional component then we have to use the hooks and uh, hooks of the life cycle method we will see in the next video so now first of all i am just going to open the app.js here i am just going to write the code from the very scratch so i am just going to remove this code first of all and just uh, import react from react and the life cycle methods are the part of react not the react native so we will import some uh, elements from react native and now let's uh, define a class app extends react mm, dot component and here we just use the render a render is itself uh, itself a life cycle method also so here we have to use the return in the return i can just add some view and all okay so i first of all i have to just import them so just import the view and a text also so let's uh, define view and inside it i'm just going to add a, some text like life cycle methods and at the last i have to export default the app this is the very simple component only one life cycle method is here which is uh, okay i have to use here react right so we have to use here some more important life cycle method so first of all i just want to show you that constructor is also a life cycle method so if i am just going to console dot one here like constructor then you will see first of all this element is executed all right so i just have to call a super here all right so now you can see that if i am just going to put the 
console in the both case you will see that render is uh, let's clean everything now you can see that constructor is called first of all then uh, render will call so now I am just going to show you that component did mount lifecycle method right and after that this lifecycle method will be called so if I just put here then I can just show the name of it in the console okay so let's clean it and just refresh it now you will see first of all constructor is called after that render is called and after that component did mount is called all right so this is the way that how they are executed because constructor will construct when component is actually initialized render is called when our HTML or you can say that the elements are just started rendered component did mount will called when our complete rendering is completed then this method is called so when you just want to call an API then we call these other APIs in the component did mount so this is the very simple example that how we can use the lifecycle methods so uh, one more example is here you can use the component uh, did update and if you just want to call it then you must have to update the uh, your component and for that we have to use the state all right so on the press I am just going to use here uh, so I need a button here so that I can just update my component so let's take button and now let's define button like this and here on uh, on press I have to use the title first of all like update me then uh, on press I can just update the state so I can just use like a uh, data state I am just going to define okay so this dot set state I have to use and now let's hide it so that we can see seen more clear here I can just define a state any state okay, like this dot set state and okay this dot sorry state and I just define a state like data and by default this is blank and I am here I'm just going to put here data is uh, updated right so this should be an object so now whenever I'm just going to press the button the state will be update that means the component is going to be update then component did update lifecycle method be will be called right so now you can see that component did lifecycle uh, component did update is called here and render is always called when your component is updated because render function have to re-render the, the state and whatever the changes is, has been done right so this is all about that how and why we have to use the lifecycle methods in the react native if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel in the next video we will see that how we can use the lifecycle methods in the functional component through the hooks also